of campaign 08 is this one of Barack Obama. And there's a story behind it. Bill Whitaker has a portrait of the artist. That Barack Obama image, it's here, there, everywhere it seems this year. This has become the iconic image of the campaign. It's more having to do with Obama than it's having to do with me. It's the handiwork of modest L.A. street artist Shepard Ferry, who says he had no grand design but to draw people, especially young people, into this election. Having the shadows fall in red on the one side of the face and in blues on the other side of the face to symbolize a merging of the blue states and the red states, I think, was powerful. How powerful? His original run of 350 posters mushroomed to 400,000 and counting. It went viral on the internet, even spawning copycats. It's a mainstream hit for an artist who usually runs on the wild side, staging guerrilla art attacks across the country, plastering his images on any empty space. I've been arrested several times for doing street art, but... How many times? Uh, four, fif 15. So before he spread Obama's image around, he did something he's never done before. He asked permission. When they said, hey, we like your stuff, go ahead, make a poster. Then I said, okay, well now it's on them. If something bad happens, not on me. <laughs> and the icing on the cake for Shepard Ferry, even more than the results of last night's election. When I met Obama, he said, I love this image. And how did you get it spread around so fast? As an artist, he says he's always skeptical. Yet you have hope under Obama, which I would take you mean genuinely. Oh, I absolutely mean hope genuinely. And um, I'm not saying Obama's going to solve everything, but I just think it's an improvement in the political culture. Political culture meet pop culture. A thousand words couldn't say it better. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.